Welcome to another episode of Rusted Rides. We are bringing the Charger back into the shop for another video. For those of you that need a recap, or for those of you that didn't see part one, this is a 1969 Dodge Charger that was used and abused as a stunt car for the movie The Man from Toronto with Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson. Today we're going to see if we can save some money and save this mangled roof rather than replace it. Let's get into it. As you can see, there are holes cut into the roof so that the movie company could use a crane and cables to mount it to some rigging so they could get the shots that they wanted. The roof also has massive dents and caved in sections and a lot of these sections overlap. So with a jack, a piece of wood, and some body hammers, Cam got started trying to straighten things out. Some say it's better to patch after, some say it's better to do it before. Cam patched a few cuts and some holes as the roof skin was liable to stretch easier at those points if it wasn't repaired. Watch carefully, after Cam finishes his welds, the roof sucks in above the top weld bead after he finishes. Not an issue, we have way bigger craters to deal with. See if it brings this roof up now. Don't want to go too heavy on it. Push it from there. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's bringing it up. Just got to be careful. I don't want to bend the car all up. Oh yeah. Oh, this roof's hurting. It's hurting real bad. Oh. Definitely seen better days and less holes. Oh. Well, keep going. Keep going indeed. There is still a lot to do before this roof looks half decent again. The edge of the roof is a tricky part because there are a few angles and beads to deal with. And there are some major creases on the driver's side too. All right, so the roof was one of the more daunting tasks that uh, Yeah, one that of we, the more expensive ones too. Yeah. So, so we'd like to not have to buy a new skin for this. Because it's so solid too. It's not even, it's not even rotten. It's yeah. just, they mutilated it, putting their cranes and cameras and all that on it so yeah let's take a better look so you've already uh you've already tacked in a few patches here just to try and fix uh fix it i guess is it important to put that in there before starting to stretch things and, and well I, I bent it all out straight before i put the the patch in there but as right. i'm trying to pull dents out it's warping and it, you know it's better to be in there cool while we try and right. straighten it out normally from what you see, I only cut things out and replace it, put on new quarter panels. I'm not very practiced up in straightening out mutilated metal and yeah, all that. So that's where he comes that's in. That's why we've got Owen. We've got reinforcement. Owen's, uh, Owen swung a hammer at a car a couple times in the past, so he's going to help us with this. If you could save me two grand and not have to buy a roof, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, we'll buy him a coffee and we'll call it even. <laughs> He's so having we put fun. Put the pool in there, and then we'll see what we can do. How close <laughs> we can get it, and and if you get it close enough that it it's acceptable, then fantastic. If it's not perfectly perfect, well, then it becomes a vinyl top. But it's going to yeah. get a vinyl top, but it's not going to be perfect. And when we say is, vinyl top, we mean bedliner. Nah, 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 nah <laughs> don't tell them that. It's going to get it's going to get vinyl. Yeah, it'll be it'll be nice either way. But it'll be, hey, if we could get this thing looking good. That would be, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. All right, I won't keep you guys. Let's, uh, I'm not being much help on this one. I'm literally just gonna be camera the whole time. Get a hammer, you're gonna help. Oh, and have you, have you, have you fixed worse? No. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we t- that's a boost to confidence. That's, yeah, that feels real good. <laughs> it would be a million years ago when I was younger. We couldn't get parts, so you just did whatever. You smashed them out and you cheesed them up, and they looked good. And, and most people just could never tell. But slowly, bodywork gets better and better to where you want to try to put in pieces and make it all look metal finished, you know. And uh, it just it makes for a lot nicer job. It yeah. depends on what you got to work with and, and what you have. In the we '60s, we would scrap cars that were banged up like this. You just scrapped them. You didn't think about it, and then we, nobody knew that they would be. I'm such a desirable car. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, that's is what we have to work with now. We gotta try and save things like this because this costs a lot of money. And there's not there's not any perfect exact way. There's there's a, out of a thousand guys, you could have a thousand ways of, of making this better and better. And you could replace the whole car if you had enough money, and then it yeah. would be all new. And I yeah. don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. We don't. Yeah. Gotta so. pay for mini me all the time over yeah. here. Yeah, we do. Get, get yeah. the hammer, get the work. Why do you cost so much money? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> all right, well, let's get back to it. We got we got lots let's, of things to work on. Let's work on this side on. now, Cam, and see if we can just pull out a bunch of these here. Woo! The fun side. Cam got started on the last patch while Owen was working on a few dents on the passenger side. Like Owen said, out of a thousand guys, you'd get a thousand different ways to address this. If you have any tips or tricks that you have used, let us know in the comments. We didn't show us working on every dent as this video would get very long and very repetitive. Do the final pull up of that there uh, center section there. This is already this is already close because this has become the ugly side here. So is it better to work our way like to clean up the edge here and then work our way to the middle? Well, I don't know how far off this is. I would love to have a, a template that would know. Or even with the door closed with glass in the door and the door going up, if the door closes and the glass fits perfectly, even just setting the rubber in there. If that all fits good, that window goes up and down and fits right, the roof is gonna be good enough. Hmm. But it doesn't look, I mean, I think this is supposed to be straight to here, and then it goes into the curb, and then this is straight here too, so. I have a feeling we're gonna get this pretty good. I think this is savable. I think that we're not gonna be cutting the skin out. I it's think. gonna look great, just watch, watch to the end. It's yeah, gonna look great. Just keep <laughs> exactly. Watching. Don't click out, don't, don't give up on us now. Yeah. So are we are we stretching or are we like um, compacting the metal? The kink is here. Yeah. From the dent. So what we're doing is we're pulling this up a little farther than it should be to put a lot of stress on the kink, and then I'm just slowly planishing the kink down with multiple little mini 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 caps to take this this high kink out to release the the pressure of or the dent of this one here so that you get the dome effect. Right. Back. So that ripple there was holding the dent down, but if you eliminate yeah. the ripple... Right. Okay. Right. It, allow, it allows the dent to pop back up and 
and hopefully every time we release it to have a look, it's a little bit less until finally it's we're happy and and you know either no cheese or very limited cheese, and that's about as good as we care about because yeah we don't have a brand new roof yeah nice <laughs> okay I turned the camera off at the worst time because you just let go of that jack and it looks great now. That is, everything we do here, we, I'm including myself in this, guys. Um, everything we do here makes it, makes is, it look yeah. a smidge better. Oh, it's looking so much better, every time. All right, next dent, which one? Well, the big, the, the huge, the, this one here? Grand Canyon in the middle. Yeah. We got the middle of it up a bit, but we've got a piece of half a canyon here and a half a canyon here. Yeah. So we're just gonna keep trying to work them up a little closer and a little closer at a time. The whole okay. roof is a dent. Just make it a convertible. Yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, close your eyes. That's looking better. So near, the, near the lump in there. A lot more of that dent out. Yeah. I wonder if it relieved it. Oh, we still have this great big. Well, so yeah, but now that that has been worked, we can probably work this. If we pop up, we can probably work that, that crease. That So right now they're trying to use some heat to expand and contract the roof a bit to hopefully get some of these uh, dents to stay up and not keep popping down. Making some progress. I think we're saving the roof. It's looking pretty good so far. So I would say it's been a success. It's not, uh, well, it's, it's not it's, done by any means, but I mean like, my goodness, this is gonna be savable. So you can tell there's still some dimpling over here, but like the major dents and the holes, like that's yeah. all good so now. We've sent our friend Owen out. He's gone to get, he's got a big English wheel. Yeah. And we're gonna fine tune all this. I've, you know, I took a stripper wheel to it cause there was some rust in there and it, it's kind of toxic because somebody sprayed this with bed liner. Yeah. So it's, it's really toxic when we get heating it up and cooling it down. It starts to smoke. So I just took it to bare metal. You know, that's about all the time we got for today. We don't want to stretch this video out for the yeah. next hour or two. Yeah. So. We could make this a three hour video yeah. on just the roof, which I don't think you want. So if you look at it from back here, though, it's looking like a roof yeah, it's again. Shape, it's shaped like, like it's a roof. It's shaped like a roof. It does have obviously some dimples and some wrinkles. But I mean, like, do you remember how bad this looked before? So this, again, once we get the English wheel, what do you say, the, what, something hammer? Uh, he's got toys, man, he's got. Yeah, <laughs> some special hammer. It's a pneumatic thing, Sometimes right? you gotta bring in somebody that's played with this kind of problem yeah. before. Yeah, Owen's, Owen's had a little bit more experience. Although it was nice for, uh, you know, I got a chance to swing the hammer around and have some fun too. But like, this is like, okay, before, when I first saw this, I was like, Cam, you gotta get a new skin. Like, you gotta buy a new roof. But now I'm like, okay, nope, I see it. This is like a lot of people would just cheese this right now. They just throw body fill on there and they'd say done. But we're gonna try and make this as good as possible before we get to the skimming. And uh, it's looking so good. At least we brought it back to the, sh the actual shape of the roof. Yeah, 100%. So that's a win. 100%.
Okay, so that's it for today's video, but next charger video that we have, we're gonna try and get more work done, try and button up the roof and do, you said the... Yeah, we're gonna cut the rear quarters out the and rear do quarters. rockers and maybe get it in primer. Hopefully. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna allow myself more time to do the next video, so yeah, there'll be yeah. some more action, probably paint getting sprayed, primer, but... Yeah, just a few, you know, just we're making... Making some steps forward, yeah. so it's exciting, uh, and uh, yeah. That's it, I only have one day to do this roof because we got another- got, got other stuff. Another job other I was supposed to be working on, but. Yeah, anyway. Um, all right, cool, so we'll yeah. see you next time. Thanks for watching.